to move that one. One, two, three, four bolts. Next, the oil line. So we have one, two, and three. Generator one, two, and another one down there, somewhere in here. Three bolts, I can't show you that, but it's in there. Twelve millimeter. Next one is the water pump. Found the timing marks for the exit up. There it is. That's the crankshaft. And that's there. The line marks on the crankshaft should be here. Better angle and you can see it. Same for the other one. That line. We'll move the gun tension.
just make sure when you put all the joints of the camshaft if you see they'll have some marks here with the numbers right there for two well this one doesn't that should be one but the rest of them have number three and number four and the same goes for the exhaust ones don't mix them because it's not good for your camshafts and of course you have your camshafts right there inlet and exhaust Pistons, I will remove them. Take this with a very thin. Keep your finger there because sometimes they pan out and you lose them. And then you push it on backwards. And you pick it up.
have to come together. Now we have one bolt of 10 millimeters here, this one. There's another one right here and another one here, which is 8 millimeters. We'll see that. This is a diagram of how many bolts need to be removed. We have the upper case, we have the lower crankcase, and these are all the bolts you need to remove in order to separate both of them. Now, check this picture that I gave here, or take an online manual and figure it out. It's not that of a job, it's just too many of them. Try to remove the old pump. This is the engine taken apart. 